Hi, my name is Simon. I'm a trade instructor at Wolfton Correctional Centre. I started off as a machinist on the outside and a career in corrections came to me because I wanted to get a job with a bit more of a routine and a career prospect with it. My career in corrections started off as a custodial correctional officer. So I worked in accommodation blocks. I worked as a unit officer or as an internal patrol officer. Sometimes I worked as a detention unit officer or a medical officer. So I did every role in corrections and then graduated into becoming a trade instructor. So I started in an acting position in industries, uh, in ferrous metal, because my background is of a metal trade. Moving from custodial into being a trade instructor was like striking a balance. It makes it all come together, because when I looked at it, it would have been a pity for me to become custodial and not have anything to do with the previous 15 years I'd been a machinist on the outside. So this job as a trade instructor gives me an opportunity to tie that all together and then move forward with it. So when I supervise a prisoner in industries, I can do it still maintaining the security of the centre, still be able to give direction and still be able to supervise, monitor them in as far as the environment of being custodial correctional officer and trade instructor, so I can bring it all together. The most rewarding part of my job is being able to make a difference to the mindset of a prisoner. To be able to talk to a prisoner who's had no hope for rehabilitation, who believes that they have no chance in life, whether in or out of prison. To be able to talk to them, to induct them into a workshop, to show them how to operate a machine, to get them being able to be competent on it, and changing their outlook in their own personal lives. And that gives me a great deal of satisfaction to say, we're protecting the community by instilling a sense of pride and a sense of self-worth in somebody that can go back out to the community and redirect the way they think, redirect the way they feel about themselves and be a better person. You know, that's how you build a community.